Hi, I'm Simon. Have you ever considered what would happen if you were swallowed by a whale? Some remarkable footage has just been released of two divers narrowly missing the hungry gape of some humpback whales. I spoke to one of the divers, Sean Stanback, who said they were watching the whales feeding a long way from the boat when two suddenly appeared out of nowhere. These animals don't actually feed on large prey, but at Earth Unplugged, we've been debating what would happen if you were swallowed by a whale. Well, it's impossible to say for sure. If it was a filter feeding whale like those in the video, you might actually survive. When a humpback or blue whale feeds, they shoot up towards the surface with their mouths agape, and the skin around their throat is actually pleated. It's a, a bit like a giant parachute, allowing it to take on so much water that actually the weight of fluid inside their mouth is equal to the weight of the whale. Imagine being inside at this point. As the mouth closes around you and suddenly your world goes dark, you become surrounded by thousands of fish and tiny crustaceans. Assuming you've got scuba gear on so you don't die from lack of oxygen in the first few minutes, you will in fact get a terrifying but brilliant insight into how a whale feeds. Before a baleen whale swallows its mouthful of food, including you, it forces its tongue up to the roof of its mouth, pushing the water out through these giant filters, effectively draining its mouth of all the water, leaving the fish and you behind. The next stage is for the whale to swallow its prey, but you might be surprised to hear that the esophagus, the gullet of the gargantuan humpback whale, is just 10 to 20 centimeters across, so it could never actually swallow you. So you're more than likely to get spat out, but you're not safe yet. Having been spewed up, your body may well then become exposed to huge amounts of water pressure, depending on what depth the whale actually chucked you out of its mouth. Humpbacks often dive over 200 meters beneath the surface, and at this depth, the pressure would be 20 times what it is at sea level. So without a special mixture of gases to breathe in your scuba gear, you'd almost certainly suffer some serious complications. But not all dives are this deep. When they're feeding, they'll often stay within 20 meters of the surface, which is survivable. The biggest danger then is being hit by one of these whales. Even a light brush from one of their fins could knock you out or even kill you. That's why it's so important to keep your distance from these beautiful leviathans. So it's imperative never to approach a whale closer than 100 meters for their safety and for yours. For more wildlife facts, subscribe, and I'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged.